thank you so much for uh, being here with us on Nightline and uh, been an extraordinary uh, hour there with uh, uh, Tyler Harris. And I hope that you'll make uh, contact with him. By the way, uh, that door's still open. If you've uh, had a time that you've prayed to receive Christ as your personal Savior, man, we'd love to celebrate with you. You make that call, and uh, you know we got we got folks that will pray with you right now. Just make the call, and uh, God, it would just be so wonderful for you to come to know the King of Glory. Scripture reading again: We are therefore Christ ambassadors, as though God were making His appeal through us. Think about that: making His appeal using us as a voice uh, to speak His word, and we implore you in Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. And that's what we want to do. We want to reconcile people to God. And he uses people. Uh, we, we see that in uh, Jeremiah. In Jeremiah 5 and 14, uh, we, the uh, verses in chapter 1 before we get to 5 and 14 is Jeremiah. He's a little fearful. He's afraid. He's a young guy. But God has called him to carry a message uh, to the people of Israel. And uh, you know he he says, look, I'm kind of young, and I don't I don't, uh, I, 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 and, and and the Lord says, hold it, do not fear the faces of men, and and, and then in and then, uh, one in twelve, I'm attentive unto my word and stand ready to perform it. He's a God of performing His word, and then when you get to five and fourteen of Jeremiah, he simply looks at Jeremiah and says, Jeremiah, listen to me. I'm going to let my words come out of your mouth like fire. And so this is what God is saying to us now with what we face in this generation is that we're to proclaim the word of the Most High God, reconciling the lost and dying world back to Christ. What a great time we live in. I'm a street guy. I go to the streets every day proclaiming the good news of Jesus. And it's amazing what's going on out there. I mean, people are just... They're hungry for the Word of God and for the truth. And we give them the truth and they're receiving it and people are actually coming to know Jesus right in the midst of all this. And so I, 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 I pray that you made the prayer. And um, we're going to go right now and have some music with the Redeemers of Faith, just a prayer away and Miracle Man. my 
just a prayer See the wonder of the miracle man. Awesome is the power Jesus holds within his hands. If you fail to solve your problems, brother, he's the one who can. Stand still and see the wonder of the miracle man. His name was Bartimaeus, a line from his birth. Till one day someone told him, God's son had come to earth. Jesus passed to where he lied begging. He opened up his eyes and left him singing, shouting, happy and on fire to testify. Stand still and see the wonder of the miracle man. Awesome is the power Jesus holds within his hands. If you fail to solve your problems, brother, he's the one who can. Stand still and see the wonder of the miracle man. In the city of May, a widow to death gave up her son. The funeral's almost over. A procession had begun. Then a glorious interruption. Jesus took him by the hand and wiped away the widow's tears and gave her back her son again. Oh, and still and see the wonder of the miracle man. Awesome is the power Jesus holds within his hands. If you fail to solve your problems, brother, he's the one who can. Stand still and see the wonder of the miracle man. Stand still, stand still. Stand still, stand still. Stand still and see the wonder of the miracle man. just continually praise God because uh, those guys got it right. He's the miracle man. And uh, this day and time we need some miracles. You understand that. And I, I think one of the greatest miracles there is is a transformed life. It's a life that is, you know, caught up like I was in sin and uh, disgrace and, and then to have a transformed life where someone introduces you to Jesus. And it, it is amazing to me uh, you know, how that just happens. But the conviction of the Holy Spirit when someone is speaking about Jesus, John 6 and 44, no man can come unto the Father except to be drawn by the Holy Spirit. That's how that thing takes place. And there's a wooing and a drawing and an incubation over because somebody's been plowing in prayer. Somebody's plowing in prayer for you right now. And they want you to experience that life-changing miracle man Jesus. Call us. Let us know that you've invited him in your heart. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, I, I'll get some of this right now. I got, I got uh, Marty Kane, Crane. Uh, Crane. Crane, and uh, yeah, David Anderson, Devin Smith, and Randy That's Crane. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, got, I, got, I got it together now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Listen, but, and before we start, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you do. I appreciate what you stand for. Always have. Thank you. My daddy taught me that a long time ago, and it's never left. Thank and, you. And uh, we, we, you know, I, I did some things, and I had to pay for it. Well, guess what? That's just the way it is. Consequences <laughs> are with the decisions that we make a lot exactly. of times. I've been doing it for 23 years. Oh, now. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well. And Randy here is my oldest son, and he uh, last week just got promoted to captain. He's a firefighter and a paramedic. Good night, alive. So he uh, <laughs> running into family. So <laughs> they got they going, man. They going places. So he, uh, he oh, congratulations to all of you. I know all of you. That's a that's a that's a powerful thing to be a servant. 
you know, that's what Jesus asked us to be, really, was servants. And, uh, and we, you know, I, I, when I was first coming up, you know, playing football and all that, you know, I beat myself on the chest. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I met Jesus. I went, oh, good Lord. <laughs> you know, uh, that's just over. Felt a little more humbled, right? <laughs> you got to tell you real quick. So it'll, right. it'll do that to you, you know. Yeah, we've got a police officer, a firefighter, a veteran, and then just a guy that sells electrical. I'm that's, with that's you, it. son. I, I got my I'm just a guy to, I'm talking to people about Jesus. How in right. the world I got over there doing what I'm doing beyond me, you know, because I, I don't qualify on nothing. Hey, and, uh, like good friends of mine say, saved is all you have to be. Yeah, I know it. That's right. That's right. That's so right. I That's said, right. you do what? And I said, how long have you been doing it? I said, 40 years. I said, I still don't know nothing. I just know Jesus. That's and right. And he'll That's save right. you. And he That's qualifies right. the he, call. Oh, go ahead now. That's right. I'm just telling you. As long as he qualified so, you, that's all you need. That's how right. long have you guys been singing? Uh, I, the group has been together for 20 plus years, 20 but plus uh, years. We, we, we refired the group yeah. about... About five, almost six years ago now, and we, wow. we came back singing Southern Gospel because originally we sang Contemporary. Oh, I see. And um, we started back up, and Randy was one of our original singers. And uh, okay. when he started having to study, and he had a, he and his wife had a second child, yeah. uh, my second little grandbaby, and um, he uh, was studying. So we've got another guy, Josh Babb, who sings with us, but he is under the weather tonight. Oh, so I got you. Randy was able to step right back in and fill in with us, and. Uh, Come on yeah. back. So I got Randy introduce to Josh. They they <laughs> helped me though. They changed. Uh, it's my... all right. There's no problem. Yeah, Josh... we got you. We got you now. I'll tell you right now. We <laughs> Josh do. is at home watching. He yeah, we... he, he hates he couldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that that's a good thing. Now you, uh, y'all, uh, we do performances like homecomings, churches, uh, anything. What, what? anything. 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 Just... We we if you, if you want us to come and sing, we don't mind telling people about Jesus. Yeah. We love Amen. singing about Jesus. A lot of our songs are about either prayer or going to heaven. Yeah. Because that's the ultimate goal. Well, I'm telling you right Prayer now. gets you there and believing in Him, yeah. and heaven is heaven is our main destination. Oh, I'm telling you right now. I got hey, listen, it's 73. I got my eyes on it pretty so, strong. <laughs> yes, hey, you and Dave same age. Is yeah, that right? <laughs> yeah, Dave, I'm, 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 somebody somebody was preaching on it the other day. Said, are you looking for us coming? I was looking right there. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's I said, right. man, yeah. I, I mean, I'm listening to yeah. the sound. Got my nose up against the windshield. That whole thing doesn't got dirty riding down the road. That's right. What's yeah. he doing? So he's, he's looking for the king. Looking for the king. Every there every opportunity every opportunity we get. It's it's like uh, the your last guest. Oh yeah. We every opportunity we get, we should tell people about Jesus. Exactly. You know, it just, you know, it's like he was saying about that graveyard. You know, how many people here <sighs> are gone that didn't know him? Oh mm -hmm. my. Oh, but how many my. people are here that did? Mm. So, it's our job as Christians, when we're out and about. That's right. Tell them about it. If they know Jesus, great. I if they know. don't, they're going to know him before you leave. Celebrate with that's them. That's right. Know, if, they exactly. if they don't, let's stay. That's, hey, that's exactly right. to get you aboard. Mm -hmm. That's what exactly. we don't want you to do. You yeah. know. I believe the Lord's coming back any day now. And oh, man. If you don't believe that, then he's one day closer every day. I, I, you listen, that's and, right. and you know, I hear people they tell me a lot of times, well, they've all been saying that for I don't know how long. I said, I know it. It's closer now than it was then. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Said, that's right. Because I mean, that's just our makeup. That's right. You know, we that have a relationship with him, we realize how close it is. And plus, we looking at that Bible and we look at all the things around us that he, he told us well, now be watchful and watch these things that's going to be a sign he's going to tell you now yep. I'm close well it's yep. like I, it's like I was uh, told when I was little by my grandmother I had somebody a couple of weeks ago I was talking to about it about the end of time oh, and yeah. revelations and things like that about what this world's seeing and going through and they're like well, I just, I'm just afraid and I don't know what to do and I said they told us in the Bible 365 times wow don't be afraid. Sure. I said, that's one for every day. Yep. Every day, don't every be afraid. Day. And I said, if you read your Bible, I said, it tells you exactly what to do. I said, that's your basic instructions before leaving Good earth. Night. Mm -hmm. And read that. Yeah. And there's your instruction booklet. Mm -hmm. If you need to know anything about anything, open it and go from the front to the back. Boy, You'll find it in there. Because it's there. You'll find it. You're yeah, right. It's there. You're right. It's, just a, it's, it's either a, been there and done that, yep. or he can tell you about it. It's like old yep. Solomon said, there's nothing under the sun that's new. I mean, come that's on. Right. It's just, that's you know, right. That's exactly you right. Might, you might and paint I, a, little coat, a little paint on it, but it, yeah. I get, I get, I get fired up every time I hear that, and I think about that, you know, and and my grandmother always taught me that. Yeah, that's, that's, that is just absolutely incredible. When you guys are uh, 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 singing and all, and... Uh, you ever just had something extraordinary happen when oh, you? Oh man! Yeah. Oh, good night. Oh yeah. yeah. We were. 
we were singing at a church just a few months ago. Oh, it my was goodness. in March. It, it was, was, a, it was the beginning of, end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, yeah we were singing out there, and uh, it, we had just brought in the song Chain Breaker. Mm. And uh, we sang, I think, four songs, and it was the fifth song in the set. And uh, we sang it, and just the atm atmosphere changed. The Lord just entered Man. the room. And let me tell you, right. that church started revival right there. Oh, I think we started we started singing at five o'clock. Five thirty. Five thirty. We didn't leave the church until ten thirty that night. Whoa! We were supposed to sing for an hour. We sang oh. every song we had on the system, <laughs> and then started and then singing. Started acapella. over. Started singing a cappella and started wow. over. Wow! Now that's that's in some revival songs, there. In some songs, I think we sang said, twice. I think you said oh. twenty five people joined the church and seven or eight. Uh, Seven, um, met the Lord seven or eight got saved, the Lord into their heart. and then twelve who were backsliders, who Came back. rededicated. Yep. And there was one gentleman there who has been just bogged down for years and years and years and years of, with alcohol. Oh my goodness! And they brought him up front, and they set him down in the chair, and they kept praying for him and praying for him, and they kept trying to get him to open his eyes and talk to him. And finally, the preacher just turned around because the, the guy pointed up at me. He said, I want him to come and pray for me. And the guys, so the preacher brought me down and I prayed for the guys, wow. the guy there. And then all of a sudden he opened his eyes. What about they had been for, trying for 30 minutes to get him to open yeah. his eyes. He just says, I can't, I can't, I can't open my eyes. I can't, I can't shake this feeling. I can't. Oh my goodness. And I had him open his eyes and up on his feet. That's freedom. It yeah, was, something it, happened to him. His chain the got Lord, broken. Yeah, that's what he was. Yeah, really change. moved in that church, and it's, 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 oh, a, it's amazing to see what God truly can do. Mm. Uh, and I, that's ultimately what we do this for: yeah. is to see God move and it, in it, people's lives like was, that. It was kind of a, it was kind of weird, the whole situation, because they had just started that church back. It had been closed for yeah. for several I, years, I see. and they had just started it back. Well, they were doing kind of more of a contemporary service, and they were going to do their traditional service at night. I see. And they were experimenting ah, to see, see who would come where they would have more people. And that night, after the morning service, when they found out we were coming, the whole congregation just stayed the rest of the day at <laughs> church. So they started having a dinner. Oh, my goodness. And they had a dinner. And oh we came in and sang. And then people that were there getting saved started calling other people to come down to the oh, church where we day, were at. Son. And there were two family members who had, had been feuding for years because of a f another family member's death mm. and they had been feuding well they reconciled that night and reconciled and it, it was just it was just a great move of and God and just happened yeah. just great a few moves and more great uh, ultimately the only thing really to say is God's good oh my goodness that's right you know All isn't it time. interesting that uh, you know sometimes you know you know just like me I'm, I'm preaching and, and sometimes it just seems like gosh man Lord I don't know if they're getting it or I don't know what's going on here and other times you'll be rat a tat tatting and and Whoa, whoa, something mm -hmm. just happened. That's right. Yep. And, you, know, you, you know it when it happens. You feel it. You, you, I mean, you a know. A true Christian feels it. <sighs> Boy, I mean, you, you can, when that when that breeze of the Spirit comes through, yeah. whoo, look we out. Call it, we call We've, it the glory bump. Yeah, I'm telling you. It was glory bumps. Yeah, I've seen it. People start looking around like, whoa, what? what? Yeah, yeah well, right. guess and what? And I love it. You can tell if someone yeah. doesn't really know the Lord, yeah. they kind of get that feeling. They want to know, yeah. what is that? Yeah, well, yeah. Christian jumps in there and says, I'll tell you what that oh is. Oh, my. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's just the best thing you ever yep. know. That's uh, right. This is just incredible. So uh, I get to thinking about things like that. And uh, sometimes down in Nicaragua, we do we do music and all, and uh, they'll take us out to the river. Oh, <laughs> we go out oh. there to the river and start doing things, and people start getting saved. And they say, they say, what hinders you being baptized? That's oh, awesome. Yeah. That's what we were watching that video from, from the first segment. Yeah. I told him, I said, man, I would love to go there oh, and sing for goodness. those folks. It, it's one of it the just, most powerful events. It would. Uh, um, I'm telling you. I, I, I went there in two, 2004, and I was just going to go one time, and now I've been over 40 times. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, got, I don't oh, know Lord. what happened to me. <laughs> got the to, Lord. Yeah, got, right. the, got the hook into me. Started, right. Then I started he's, introducing He's got you where he wants you right now. Yeah, oh, it, it's, right. Been, it's been an, it's been really just like you guys. You try. It, it's a it's an amazing life, and that the Lord has allowed us to, to do. It is, and I tell you one thing, I'm going to say, Dave, Dave's grandson has been up here with him all summer, and he's eight. He's he's the one that's sitting over there in the audience tonight. Oh, okay. And this little man has got to travel around with us while we've been going around mm. with Papa singing, 
and we've brought him on stage and sing a few times. He knows all of our songs and can right. sing all of our songs. <laughs> we've got him where he he's going to take my place whenever I retire. <laughs> and he, <laughs> is, he is really, really, really what catching on and, and everything else. And, uh, you know, he's he's been a blessing. Yeah. Uh, he's the one when we go out to eat after places. He's the one that does our prayer most of the time for exactly our meal. Right. Now, what's his name? Andrew. Andrew. He's eight years old. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's a you know, biblical I, name, Andrew, there. I love seeing young kids like that. Yeah. Uh, because kids are the future. That's right. And there's so many kids out there right now being taught way the wrong thing. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's just terrible what's going on in our country alone. Well, what you're talking about right there is so important, and we need to really engage with our our younger ones and that sort of thing. And listen, I'm gonna tell you, it's powerful having you guys. I'm gonna release you because I know you got another song getting ready to take place. And I'll talk to these folks till y'all get get yourself in position. Didn't you like that? I mean, hey, praise God, these these guys got it together. They're all about Jesus and they're singing about Jesus. What wouldn't you like to be in one of their meetings like that? And the, the atmosphere just totally changed. And the next thing you know, people are forgiving each other and. You know, I mean, that is really what it's all about. And the the spirit of forgiveness. Um, I know, man, because I had a hard time with it in the very beginning when I really came to Jesus to understand, uh, you know, forgiving things and people and words and all the things that can sometimes be said. And it's sometimes it's difficult. But when you cast it before Jesus... And then before him, he will make a way for you. He is very powerful at making a way for you. Well, I'm going to tell you, are we ready? I'm telling you, I, I, I tell you, I, I'm, I'm so pumped up about them guys singing. They, they've been singing about heaven. They've been, oh, my goodness gracious. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Saints of God, Redeemers of Faith, Midnight Cry. Prophecies fulfilling And the signs of the times They're appearing everywhere I can almost hear the Father Yes. 
Yeah. 